Today we have a vacuum cleaner that I have not had one of for a long time. The original Dyson Ball, the DC-15, this one being a DC-15 animal. In apparently non-working order, there is something wrong with it. I literally haven't looked at it since picking it up from the lady's house and bringing it home. Today we're going to go through this, see what might be wrong with this old girl and see if we can't get her working right once more. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum Kalina chums. How are you today? The Dyson Ball look. Back when the ball was a big old thing, this was the first of the Dyson uprights to go onto the ball model. It was an actual ball, unlike the more modern ones, which are just two big wheels. Look, it zigzags around furniture to clean with less effort. This once flagship machine looking a little bit rough and ready now, bless you. And I cannot help but comment that it don't half look old and basic. I mean, we're used to the yoke doing all the movement now, but you know, you've got physical slidey stuff, you know, that things move and change and all sorts of anarchic old school things. No idea what's wrong with it though. We'd best have a look and the first thing I noticed, although it's not probably going to stop the machine from running, is the state of the wand look. Crikey, that's had its fair share of scrubbing around on the carpet to the point where it is wearing down into the actual wand itself. But the hose seem absolutely fine. Obviously the hose on these models tip down so you don't end up pulling the machine down with you. That's something that they don't do much of anymore. But yeah, bar commenting on the comical state of the wand, we don't really need to do much of it anyway. You can see the gap in between the wand cap and everything else. I think what we should probably do is fire it up because we could find all sorts of things that need sorting, but if none of them are actually the problem, I'll just be wasting my time and yours by going through it. So, let's plug it in, turn it on. After answering the door. God, that was a postman at five past five on a Monday night, bringing me a week's worth of post, and I see these online, look, one of the SIBO shops nice new pens that I've seen advertised on Instagram. Thank you very much, Claire, I'd imagine, or Stuart. Very nice indeed. I like me branded pens. Anyway, where were we? also got two completely different bits of advertising for GigaClear, who are currently digging up the whole team and making the right mess. Right, what happens when we push the button? <laughs> Suction seems okay. Yeah, the brush roll spin, but pretty much nothing else is happening down below. On the DC-15 it's reasonably easy to check by removing the external hose, reclining the machine, the changeover valve flips across and try it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have found what I assume to be the problem. Eh, there is a, oh, goodness, a piece of three-core flex sheath, look, which is stopping the changeover valve from seating properly. Aha! seems a little bit better, but I can't imagine that our head... Oh, there it is, Claire. Oh, 
blimey, look at that. I forgot how massive they looked, although uh, the end cap's not on properly either. Oh my goodness, what is going on? I think we shall get out the Victor V9, because this all needs a bit of a clean up anyway. And I'd like to check that we're not blocked anywhere. The filter seems to be pretty mean. I think this can all be fixed with five minutes of cleaning. Right, let's start by... Oh, car. Can't really easily remove the head on a DC-15 because the wiring loom is all the way through and down to the bottom. So not going to be much there. However, we can recline it back when we, put, when we put it aside. And if I find my patented Dyson brush roll removal tool, we can ooh, crunchily turn these brush roll end caps and pull them out and we'll give those a good old clean. They're full of fluff in there, which isn't going to do it much good, but the brushes are in good order. The thing with the DC-15, it was built at a time when Dyson had build quality, when they had care about their product. So they generally last, unless they're physically damaged, pretty well. This is all fairly normal and should be relatively easy to clean. together we just need to give it a clean out because hey some things never change look one of the main reasons the brush roll housing on the newer Dyson's fail is because they fill up with fluff internally and overheat and cook themselves simply fix a little bit of this and maybe some of this as well to attempt to do is to remove the post motor filter which there we go is not replaceable in the sense that you have to buy the entire housing but again there's a lot of dust on here and in theory a simple bag vacuum Ooh. better. 
splashed a damp cloth over this entire machine. Well, that is now looking a little bit better. Should be a bit better. Now we're just going to do exactly the same to this bin and cyclone. And we are now back to very basic -y Dyson here. This is just a DC-14 cyclone and needs to be fixed in the way that every Dyson cyclone needs to eventually. unclogged and as, as good as it needs to be really in theory oh, oh yeah. oh, much better suction up bits and bobs does seem to be skimming the carpet I think that's just what they did there's also a heck of a raffle coming from the brush roll which again I think it needs new end caps and brush rolls but that won't be done here and now all we have done is unclogged it got it working again a cheap repair for somebody on what is now an old useless Dyson, really. I remember when these were the flagship, a good 300 pounds odd worth of machine, the best thing ever, until what was the best thing ever changed and what was the best thing ever was no longer the right thing for marketing purposes. But somebody will be very happy that their Dyson DC-15 is back working once more, I'm sure, and now, <laughs> Can't remember the last time you saw one of these on my channel. Crikey, comment down below if you know. Have we ever had a DC-15? I'm not entirely sure. But we have now, and oh, they are old looking things now. We are very spoiled with the current crop of Dysons as much as they last, even less than these old things do. They're certainly designed better. You can tell the generational improvements, and there have been many generations since this type of Dyson. But there we go, really nice and quick. Victor V9 has fixed something else. If you've got a DC-15, comment down below and tell me if you like it or not. And until next time, I, and who knows, maybe another DC-15, will see you soon. Bye-bye.